it's Jen for Stamp Silly and it's Manic Monday so it's time to try and create a card in under 10 minutes. I'm starting off with a piece of Whisper White cardstock and it measures 4 by 5 and a quarter and I'm going to use some Daffodil Delight ink. I'm also using um, um, ink blending tool. This is not something from Stampin' Up! however I do prefer it over our sponges. A lot of times I will use our um, sponges that look like this. Um, and I keep mine in a in a container here because it's easier. But sometimes I like the, the cleanness that this gives me as opposed to the sponges when I go to ink. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to ink up this little ink blending tool. I will link to a source um, down below in the YouTube description and over on my blog where I get these. Okay, so I'm going to start and I'm just going to swirl this on and giving it some even pressure. And sometimes I dab it off on, onto a piece of scratch paper if I'm getting it on a little too dark. What I like about this is I'm not getting sponge marks like I do sometimes with our sponges. I like our sponges for some things, but when I'm doing this, I don't. So, there, I'm honest and just saying it like it is. This doesn't leave lines like, um, like it could. Okay, so I have that. That's the way I want it. Now I'm going to bring in a mask. I've been using these masks here lately more and more and more, and I'm loving them. I'm loving them. It just gives you some um, texture without overdoing it. So I'm going back over with the ink and I'm deliberately being heavier in the center area and quite fading it out towards the edges. I'm, I'm also deliberately not catching the entire circle here. I don't want every polka dot to be full. Okay, so there I have that. I'm good with that. I think I came down a little bit too far but I'm, you know what, it's Manic Monday, I'm going to go with it. We don't have to be perfect all the time. Okay, so I have that. Now I need a scrap of Whisper White cardstock. So here's that. And now I'm going to use some Melon Mambo ink and the Bloom For You stamp. I love this stamp because it has a matching punch. I will also give you, clue you in, when I have a matching punch. I've gone ahead and marked my stamp so that when I go to punch this out I have them lined up. So I know that this needs to go down so I put this at the edge of my paper um, and that way I know it's going to line up with my stamp right away. Or with my punch, excuse me. Okay, that's all the Melon Mambo we need. So now I'm going to go ahead and punch this out and you'll see since I have that marked it will line up perfectly here. One thing I love about this punch is it does not leave any white marks around the edges. It's cutting all that stuff off. So it looks um, perfect every time. Okay, so that I'm going to place here, but I'm not going to put it down just yet. I'm going to use a leaf image. The leaf image I'm using comes from the Flower Patch stamp set and um, you could use any leaf image that you may have. It doesn't need to be this one, so don't fret there. I'm also going to use some Cucumber Crush. This is going to be a very bright and summery card here today. Okay, so I'm, I'm just laying this punched image down, and it's going to act as kind of a placeholder where I need to stamp my leaves. And I'm going to double stamp this one one off to the edge like that. See, so like this. What I really like when I double stamp those is when you overlamp, overlap the leaves a little bit, you get a darker um, area on the stamped image. Okay, now I'm going to add one more over here. So I'm just going to, whoops, pull that flower out and stamp that. So hopefully you guys saw how I did that good enough. Um, that way my leaves end up exactly where I want them when I go to put my flower down. Ok, 
Okay, now I'm also going to add, this also comes from the Flower Patch stamp set, I'm just going to add some little dots. It's these little teeny tiny dots. I'm only doing that for some character. Um, it's not necessary. Again, you could even hand draw little dots in and it would be quite cute. Oopsie. I missed there, so I'm going to pull that closer to me and re-stamp that. Okay, and I decided now I want to stamp the rest of these off. So, that one was a little darker than I intended, but we'll be, it'll be good. I'll be, I'll be okay with it. Actually, ooh, if I had done that just right, maybe I can still. I might cover that dark one up with a, um, with a petal there. There we go. So I'll add one more in. There, I will like that better. Now we're going to add the sentiment. And for that I'm going to use basic black ink. And I am pulling in another stamp set here. I don't like to typically use three stamp sets on a card, but today it's going to be okay. This one is Sweet Sayings. Um, it's in the Occasions catalog, so the Spring catalog. I'm going to use Thanks for Being You. And I'm going to stamp that in our archival black ink way down here. Just like that. It really stands out. That black ink is wonderful. And I love that it um, it fills in every little detail for you. You don't miss those at all. Okay, so now I'm going to take my flower and I'm going to curl these leaves up. So to do that I'm just using my bone folder and pulling the petals between my thumb and the bone folder. You guys I'm sure have seen this done before but for anyone new out there um, it's a great little tip to give you some dimension to your um, to your stamps. Okay now we just need to adhere that flower down. For that I'm just using some liquid glue and let's see if I can get that again. I don't think I'm going to well, we kind of cover up that darker deal that I have there. I could kind of adhere that down a little bit and make it hidden a little bit more, but we'll go with it. Okay, now I'm going to attach this to a piece of basic black cardstock. And for that, I am going to use some Fast Fuse adhesive. So I'm just going to put that right on my card base. And when I go to um, send this card out, I will, because it's a black um, card base, what I'll do is I'll add some white copy paper or some more white cardstock to the inside to get that done. Okay, there it is. There is today's card. I did it in under 10 minutes. I hope you like it. And come back and see me again here at Stamp Silly on my YouTube channel or um, hop on over to my blog which is uh, www.stamped-silly.com. I try and post inspiration there all week long. So, all right, for Manic Monday, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.